Rawr. All right, Mocha, so what are we gonna be talking about today? Good answer, man, Pokemon. So I was just browsing the internet and you know, I was browsing Reddit and I came across this post that caught my attention and I found it interesting and I think you guys will find it interesting too. And you know, I just want to share it with you guys, you know, let me know what you think. Um, so there was a Reddit user that goes by the username TB underscore Mumpets and pretty much he brought out this idea to the Pokemon community. The Pokemon community on Reddit, they pretty much said that he was gonna fuse all the original 151 Pokemon together. But you know, fusing Pokemon, that's not an original idea. You know, people have done it before, there's lots of fans art of Pokemon fusions. The Pokemon anime has done it too, where they fused, uh, I think it was Blastoise and Venusaur, you know, Venus toys. So it's not a new idea, but the thing is, the way he's doing it is, he's gonna take Pokemon and he's gonna take input from the community on Reddit through the comments and add to that Pokemon, depending on the top voted comment of that day. Does that make sense? So pretty much the first day he asked everybody like, all right, so which Pokemon should we all start off with as to be a big Pokemon? And the top comment that was voted to like, the top of the comments was Snorlax. So he grabbed that, the top comment, and he used that, Snorlax. All right, guys, day two. For day two, what do you guys want to add to Snorlax? Who should we add to Snorlax to fuse together? People give their ideas, you know, there's like hundreds of comments, people giving their ideas, you know, suggestions, like, hey, do this, do this, and do this. But it's always the top comment that he takes, you know? Whichever comment is more popular is the one that he incorporates into the Pokemon. And there are a lot of good ideas out there. I think some of them are actually pretty funny, but we're just gonna go through them and just kind of see, you know, how it's been going and how it's been looking because I thought it was pretty funny. I thought it was interesting. And what I like about it is it's the community people sharing ideas coming together to create this thing, you know? How is the final result going to look? How how is this thing going to look, you know? It kind of reminds me of like a Twitch plays Pokemon where a bunch of everybody on Twitch was just playing Pokemon together. Same idea, kind of. It's just people giving their ideas. Top comment of that day, boom, added to the Pokemon. All right, so let's go through this. So day one, we're starting off with Snorlax. Day two, all right, we have Snorlax. What's the top comment? The top comment is change his head to Electro, all right? And you know, he did that. For day three, he put Electro's head onto Snorlax's head and this was the result. Pretty funny, huh? That looks cool pretty unique doesn't look that bad so far it's just two pokemon all right so on day three he posted the result snorlax electrode together this is how it looks all right so day three people what do you want to add to this what is the top comment for day three so on day three the second top comment was add blastoise cannons but the top comment was make it a centaur but the horse bit is arcanine and this is how that looks like making snorlax into a centaur by using the horse bit as arcanine pretty unique pretty interesting that was the top comment of day three and that's how it's looking so far not bad huh not bad at all day four he showed his results you know people were starting to pick up on this on these posts you know these posts were starting to become more popular so on day four he showed his arcanine snorlax electro combo so what do you guys want to add to this all right what should we add for day four so on day four the second top comment was i'm horrified thinking about where you could put an ekans on that all right so maybe a possible ekans but the top comment was add a voltorb on top of the electrode so it looks like a snowman crossed out or an electric man so that was the top comment add a voltorb on top of the electrode so this is where i started seeing the post you know like where i started kind of following it because i'm like oh that looks pretty cool you know what what is this guy trying to do and then i kind of saw what he was trying to do and then i got my attention and yeah i just think it's pretty funny man i think it's pretty cool overall so on day five this is the result it's not looking too bad huh like before like this ain't that bad you know like it still looks pretty good doesn't look like freaky or anything like it's it's not bad at all man i actually like like how it's looking so day five here's a fusion what else should we add to it which first generation pokemon is going to be added to this. The second top comment was add Caterpie onto the tail of the Arcanine. But the top comment of this was, I mean, we got to finish the ball trifecta and add Ghastly on top. And that was the top comment. So, so on day six, he came back and he's like, all right, guys, this is how it looks like. And now this is where it's kind of starting to look funky. You know, now it just looks like it's starting to look pretty freaky now. And I was kind of like, all right, what the heck is going on right now, man? This is kind of weird. So guys, this is the day five. This is how it looks like. We are on day six. What are we going to add to it now? So on day six, the second most popular comment was add Kangaskhan's pouch onto Snorlax's belly. Not bad, right? Not a bad idea. But the top comment was give Snorlax Kingler's arms. All right. And he came back with it. And this is how that looked like. And you know, it's kind of weird. It's kind of funny. But I mean, come 
about it. Like, like what's gonna happen, man? What's gonna happen by the by the last day, right? All right, here's day seven, guys. What else are we gonna add to it? The second top comment was, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Gotta keep getting smaller on this totem. Need a single execute, preferably the broken one, one of the execute eggs on top of the ghastly. So now we're gonna have like four balls on top of it. But that was the second top comment. The actual top comment was, I feel bad for the Arcanine body that would have to shoulder all the add-on weight in the future. Can we add all four Machamp arms on push-up alongside Arcanine's body so it would have eight legs total? All right, that sounds kind of weird, but uh, let's see the result. And boom, here's the result. Now it's starting to look like a monstrosity, right? Pretty freaky, but we're still going, man. We're still going. So we are currently on day eight and the current top comment of day eight is Onyx tail instead of Arcanine's tail to extend the body further and build more of like a base. So that is currently the top comment on today's post, which is day eight. So if you do want to participate, you know, go to Reddit, go to the Pokemon community and you know, it should be one of the top posts trending right now on the Pokemon subreddit. It should be pretty easy to find, but you know, go participate, you know, go follow it. I think it's pretty unique. And you know, I will make another video similar to this, you know, kind of looking through all the Pokemon that have been added. I'll make another video once we get like about 30%, about once he is about 40 Pokemon in, we'll come back, revisit the subject and kind of see how this Pokemon fusion, the Pokemon fusion of all the original 151 Pokemon, how is it gonna turn out? How is it gonna turn out? So we'll come back and revisit. But for now, thanks for watching. You know, check out some of my other videos if you wanna see more like, you know, Pokemon content. You know, stuff about Pokemon. You know, I think Pokemon is fun. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. And yeah, drop a comment, drop a like. If you didn't like the video, then drop a dislike. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out.